Class of 2024, welcome to George C. Marshall High School. My name is Jaleel Ahmed Litz and I will be showing you the 386,000 square foot building that is Marshall High School. As you can see right in front of you where these cars are parked are where your buses would normally drop you off and pick you up. When you first walk into George C. Marshall High School in the main lobby, you will notice the Marshall M and the IB showing that we are an international baccalaureate world school. You will also notice different artwork depicting the diversity of Marshall High School as well as the five stars. Honesty, respect, responsibility, spirit, and community. Off to the right in the main lobby, you will notice the main office. Please wear your mask and stay six feet apart at all times. Behind the front desk, you will see Mrs. Eastman, right next to her would be Mrs. Lopez, as well as Mrs. Smith. Wave hi, Mrs. One of the first halls you see when you walk into Marshall High School is the E-100s, which is straight down out of the lobby. When you walk down the E-100s, you can see on the right is our Dean of Student Services office, Mr. Staten. On the left is the IB office. And one of the most important places as freshmen that you will go to is Student Services. When you walk into Student Services, on the right is Mrs. Tadros' desk. On the left is Mrs. Barrand. All the counselors' offices. And our director of student services, Mrs. Blakely. And one of our counselors, Ms. Sokolov. As you can see, down this hallway on the left are all the counselors' office, all the way down into the special education office. At the end of E Hall, past student services, is the intersection of E, B, and C halls. As a now former freshman, I highly suggest that when you do come to this intersection, avoid it at all costs. Upon walking down C Hall, on the right is C114, our multi-purpose room, and our lecture hall, which is more commonly referred to as C113. C Hall holds many things, mainly our art classes. This room is mainly used for ceramics. Welcome to C100, also known as our photography classroom. For those of you who will be taking photo one, here's where you're going to take it. For the more advanced classrooms, we also have the dark room, where you will develop film amongst a host of other things. C Hall also holds our awesome physics lab. This room was actually a computer lab until it was recently transformed into a multi-purpose classroom which this year will hold our, civic, our physics classes. Welcome to A Hall. When you walk down A Hall, out of the D Hall, you will see door two as well as our native species garden. When you come toward the center of this section of A Hall, you'll see the library. Once you enter the library, you will see, of course, in the middle, its sole purpose. On the left is individual study. For those of you who need a place to work quietly, I highly suggest coming to individual study. On the other half of the library is group study. So whether you need to work in a group or you want to meet with some friends but not be as quiet, group study is the place to go. Upon continuing down A Hall, you'll see a career center which is run by Mr. Humphreys. You won't need to use this place much as a freshman, but as you get into upper classes, Mr. Humphreys will help you find what colleges you want to go to, scholarships, as well as all other college and career needs. As you can see, we are back at the main lobby and we are going to continue down a hall toward the music wing. On the way to the music wing, on the right you will see our attendance window run by Miss Sanchez. When we get toward the end of A Hall, we meet with F Hall. 
but just before you get there, on the right is our black box run by Mr. DeLeo. For those of you taking some form of theater, this is where you're gonna go. As we come back out, you can see on the left is F Hall if you wanna go toward the gym or the cafeteria, but we're gonna go to the right into the music wing. At the top of the staircase in the music wing, the first thing you're gonna walk into is our auditorium. Whether you're having a concert or a play, or hopefully in the future an SGA election, this is where you're gonna come. Once you go past the auditorium into the music wing, all the way down at the end of the staircase is the band room. When you go to the left into the music wing, we have the orchestra room. At the opposite end is the choir room, and most of these rooms down this hallway are practice rooms if your teacher ever tells you to go and practice or you want to stay after school. As we continue down F Hall, the first thing on the right that takes up a majority of F Hall is the cafeteria. Now, I went to Kilmer and opposed to a uh, middle school cafeteria, you can sit wherever you want, whether it is the booths right here in the middle or the high tops. The lunch lines are much different from middle school. You have the grill over here on the right, both sets of doors. On the far end is more of the international variety, and right here in the middle is the Statesman Station. The Statesman Station is a locally sourced salad bar that is available all four lunches. So whether you want to eat healthier than FCPS already lets us, or you want a light lunch, the Statesman Station is where you should go. Welcome to the gym. During school day, we have PE here. However, we also have most of our indoor sporting events in here. When you walk into the gym, for those of you with PE, the girls' locker room is over here to the right, and down in this hallway, all the way in the depths, is the boys' locker room over here to the left. When you walk outside, you'll see our Marshall Mob Cage, our Marshall Building, and as we walk down the Joe Swarm Expressway, named after our Director of Student Athletics, you'll see our football field, and over to the left is our softball and baseball fields. While we do hold sporting events here, we also have PE. A fair warning, freshmen, we have PE, even if it's cloudy and 50 degrees outside, so bundle up. Out in the back of the building is our modular building. Some classes might be out here. I know I had some classes out here as a freshman. Welcome to our football field, as well as our softball and baseball fields and our concession stand. Welcome to door five, otherwise known as our athletic entrance. When you walk into door five, you will see our trophy case, as well as our three state championship teams, girls tennis from 2017 and 2019, as well as cross country in 2016. We are also back to the main gym. On the right here is our wrestling room. And in this little alcove over here to the right is our auxiliary gym. And this little hallway on the right next to the gym is otherwise known as the 400s. In this hallway we have some health classrooms as well as driver's ed and our student activities office. Down here on the right is our student activities office. It, who, Ms. Vioni sits right here, and over in this office is our assistant director, Mr. Williams. Hi, everybody. Back there is the office of our director, Mr. Swarm, and out we go into the 500s. And as we continue into the 500s, which is our academy, the Marshall Academy has a lot of courses, but the only courses as freshmen that you will be taking is cybersecurity. One of the classes in our academy that you might be able to take as you progress through high school is student auto sales. Here, you can learn about cars as well as help with the sale of them. And we also have another class which is auto tech where you can take apart and rebuild cars as well as service them. Welcome to auto tech. While this class may not be available to you as a freshman, once you become an upperclassman, this class will be available to you. You can 
learn about different aspects of a car, as well as service them and possibly even rebuild a few things. Another class for when you progress through high school, for those of you who are interested, is cosmetology. Another academy class you can take as you progress through high school is culinary arts. Culinary arts is run by Chef Devlin. All right, class of 2024, that ends our tour. We can't wait to see you. Welcome to our Marshall family. Go Statesman.